Hi everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Okay, today I'm going to be working on my 2011 Crown Vic that you see behind me. I recently got this at the Federal Auction. Uh, this could be the last Crown Vic Police Interceptor I ever get at auction because the auctions have been halted up here in Canada. I've got a video explaining that. Uh, I'll put a link to below for that video. Uh, but I want to keep this one. I want to make it look really good because I might be keeping this for a while uh, So today I was going to go over my cleaning uh, steps that I do to make these cars look better and um, We're gonna start with the interior Okay, so the interior on this car is not too bad and today I'm gonna go over what I do with every single auction crown Vic that I get the steps I do and I try and make everything look better and this one doesn't look too bad so I see a lot of these cars for sale with the rusty wheels, with the decal residue still on the outside, with the filthy looking um, rubber mats on the floors, and with coffee stains and donut stains all over the interior. It just takes a little bit of elbow grease to get rid of those, and if you're going to sell this car, if you can make it look good, that's going to make a difference, a psychological difference. When someone comes to look at the car, uh, even though it's a cheap car, if they see that it's clean, it's going to make them want the car. So cleaning the car makes a difference. Put the extra effort out and when you go to sell this car, if I ever sell this car, I'm going to get extra money because of this effort. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to start with the interior and when you start with the interior, you look up, you look way up and you have this horrible hole. So the first thing to do is look at your headliner check it out if you're looking for any rips or anything else the headliners on these cars are actually usually pretty good there's a few little holes and stuff but this hole here and these wires here is what I'm going to take care of first they just cut these wires and just leave them I'm going to uh, cover them with electrical tape so that they can't spark or whatever against anything um, and I'm going to cover this hole Okay, so this part of the video is not too exciting, so if you want to skip ahead to five minutes, no, actually there's no skipping ahead because the whole video is going to be boring like this. So I can fully, I fully accept if you want to uh, switch to a different video or watch Doug Gamero or something like that because this is not going to be too exciting. But still, this is important, so I thought I would make a video. So for those hardy souls that wish to stay with me, let's carry on. Okay, the wire is wrapped. We'll just tuck back back in there. Now, if you ever actually do get a ticket light, which you can buy on eBay, um, you can actually use these wires to power that uh, light. And I might do that in the future. I kind of like the idea of having the ticket light here. But for now, we're gonna hide this hole and we're gonna do this in a very amazing way. We're gonna use, yes, duct tape. Uh, gorilla duct tape in this case black and it will stick and we're just going to cover that uh, just to sort of hide it a little bit Okay, there's the finished product. It's like it never existed, right? You can't even see where the hole was. All right, that was pretty exciting, but now it gets really exciting. We're gonna clean the windows. We're gonna use Windex, and as most of you probably should know by now, I use newspaper. That's right, you don't use a paper towel, which will just leave a lot of lint. These work perfectly. Use scrunched up old newspapers, the best way to clean your windows. Everybody knows that. But can anyone tell me the reason why newspapers are the best ways to clean your windows? Because I actually do not know. I've been using this since I was a kid. Uh, I don't know who taught me first. Old newspapers are the best way to clean windows. Uh, why? So if you know, put a comment down below and tell me the actual physical reason as to why newspapers, old newspapers, are the best ways to clean a window.
right, the windows are all done. And now it's time to do the dash. So I'm gonna do the dash area. Uh, this will be a cleaning and then an armor all to make everything nice and shiny. I'm also gonna take off this decal because I don't like it because it always comes loose, it's always tattered. So I'm gonna take this off, and this will be my first step, I think. Take this deckle off, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, you get your trusty heat gun, put it on low, low heat, and start heating this up. Now, of course, you have to be very careful because everything on your dash is plastic. So you just wanna heat this up so that the glue that's holding this deckle on will get liquidy or soft, then you should be able to peel it right off. And we'll just start peeling this off. Come on, come on. Should peel right off. Now of course it's revealing another deco underneath and that's fine, I'm gonna keep that one because it's nice and secure and looks good. Uh, this is the original deco underneath that's just in English. And the decal above says the same thing, but in French and English, because of course, Canada is a bilingual country. Okay, to clean the dash, I'm gonna use Vantastic. There's probably a lot of other types of cleaners that would work. Um, and I'm gonna actually use a scrub pad first. I'm gonna use a scrub pad first as my first step to get rid of really built up dirt that's really on the dash and then we'll go over it with a, uh, a cloth or a paper towel but first but first I'm taking care of the real grime and then we're gonna wipe it with our paper towel and just see how much dirt was up there pretty dirty eh I don't think this has ever been cleaned. Okay, the upper dash is clean. Now we're gonna do the next area. However, before we actually clean it, we're gonna use our vacuum to get rid of the dust in all the crevices. Uh, there's a lot of dust here in the vents. The way to do that is to use your vacuum. Vacuum. And as you vacuum the area, you also use a brush. So I'm gonna have the vacuum hose right next to the brush, and as you go here, it'll pick up all that dust. Okay, now that we've got the dust off, now we just do use our Vantastic to continue the cleaning on the lower dash. Okay, now we clean the steering wheel. Uh, we're gonna see how dirty this steering wheel is from all the years all the years it's been used and I don't know maybe never cleaned never ever cleaned the steering wheel is in pretty good shape you just got one chunk out here some of them are a lot worse than this so this isn't too bad let's see how dirty it is as you can see it's pretty dirty that's disgusting uh, okay now, as you're cleaning, it might be tempting to press this. I know, I'm tempted. Don't do it. That's your airbag light. That's not a button. This is a button. You can press that all you want. Do not press this. I see these broken all the time because everybody gets in here and they want to press this. They're very curious. They want to press that. That is an indicator light for your airbag for your passenger. If you press that, you'll break it. Don't do that. Okay. Okay, so the dash is clean. However, it looks kind of dull, kind of dull. So you wanna sort of brighten this up. So for that, I'm gonna use Armor All, tried and tested. Now there's more expensive trim uh, dressings that you can use, uh, but 
for on the cheap, nothing beats armor all. Now you gotta spray into your cloth rather than spraying on the dash, otherwise it'll spatter everywhere, get on your, your windshield and everything else. So I just spray on the cloth first. Then apply it. Oh yeah, nice and shiny. So another trick you might wanna try to do to get the armor all, to get the shiny into all the cr crooks and crannies, I use a small brush like this, and I put a little armor all on the end, and that will get into all the crooks and crannies, and give a real nice shine at the end of this. Just use the brush to get in those edges. All right, the dash is done. Look how shiny that is. Not too shiny, but shiny. And the door cards are also done. Okay, we now we move into the rear seat area. Now I'm going to armor all, all this seat. Uh, it's gonna be very shiny and very slippery, but that's okay. And, but the first thing I'm gonna do is just take this plastic piece off that is in the B pillar. Okay, as you can see, you just unclip it. I broke this one, oh well. And what do we have here? We have a disconnected switch. All you do is simply push that in, click it, and guess what? Your rear windows will now work from the inside of the rear seat. So in other words, these switches will now work, which is great. It's a very simple fix on the uh, RCMP cars. All you do is just disconnect that uh, plug and that's how they secure it for the prisoners. But I don't have any prisoners, so I want the windows to work. Now, perhaps unsurprisingly, since the rear seats don't get used that much, and since these seats are usually taken out when the car is put into service and they have a plastic prisoner seat in here and then when the car is decommissioned they take the old seats out of storage and put them back in that's why they're often loose as you can see not attached at all but that also means that they're in great shape uh, very rare to have any rips or anything else really good shape but right now i want to start vacuuming to get rid of some of this junk yeah, this looks pretty bad. And also sometimes you can make a profit on these cars with some extra dirty looking coins. Okay, the dash door cards is all done. Now the next thing I often do is you wanna give the seats, the front seats, a quick little shampoo. Uh, the rear seats are all vinyl, so that's easy to clean. This is a little bit more difficult. This is a fabric. And mostly I just wanna get the obvious stains out, if there are any. Uh, these aren't too bad. I've seen a lot worse, I've seen a lot worse. But I just wanna go quickly over it. There's often coffee stains down the sides. See, there's coffee stains here. At least, I hope they're coffee stains. And a lot of junk down the sides here. So, a quick little shampoo. Okay, and this is what I use. I use Simon Eyes. It's a carpet cleaner in a aerosol can with a scrubber on the top. These are great because you just spray, let it sit for a while, and then start scrubbing. It's great. And then just wipe it up with uh, a cloth. 
So let's get started, shall we? Okay, it's been scrubbed, so let's start giving it a little bit of a wipe. And let's see. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, the good thing about this pattern on these seats, you can't really tell how dirty they really are, but as you can see, that is dirty. This is gonna take a bit of work. Dirty, whoa. You can see how dirty that seat is. You don't wanna sit on that. Let's clean that up. Ugh, that's disgusting. Okay, so the front seats are all shampooed. You can see they're a bit brighter. Uh, they're certainly not perfect, but yeah, it's a lot cleaner. You can see the pattern better now that it's clean. Now it's time to vacuum the front floors. And after that, I'm gonna do something really special with these floors that's gonna make them pop. Okay, the vacuuming's done. But as you can see, the rubber floor mats are still dirty. So I'm gonna give them a little wipe down with my Vantastic. Some of this dirt. Ooh, pretty dirty. Trying to get this dirt up and off. Okay, the interior is looking nice. Dash is looking shiny. Shampooed the front seats. Back seat area is clean, but I haven't put in my rear seat yet because now this is the pièce de résistance. Um, that's French for the ultimate thing that I'm going to do. That's going to change the appearance of the interior of this car. And I waited to the end, so I, you have to watch the video till this point. But this is it. It's very simple. This is it. Okay. Basically, vinyl and fabric spray in black from Duplicolor. Duplicolor, this stuff is, is the boss. This stuff goes on easy. It doesn't spray everywhere too much. It doesn't smell very much after it's done. It dries really quick. It's very durable, it's flexible. So you can actually spray the rubber and it will stick really good, even over imperfections. Yeah, as you can see, I cleaned it. Didn't clean it very well at all. It will not react. Even if there's a little bit of oil left on your rubber mat, it will not react. This stuff is great. I think maybe I'm gonna try and spray the outside of the car with this. It's so good. But for now, we're gonna spray the inside rubber mats. Uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, it'll make a world of difference. So let's just go around. I'll show you the before. Got the front seat all the way back because we're going to do the front first. But as you can see over here, this is what it looks like. And you see the center tunnel is still grimy and horrible. You can see that despite me wiping this down, it's still full of stains, coffee, donut stains, everything. Dirt still there. I'm going to spray over all of it. Today's a pretty warm day, so this is going to stick really good. That's all we got to get it all mixed up. Okay, let's start spraying. Boy, well, it's a. It's always a good idea to wear a mask whenever you're spraying spray paint. Goes on in a very narrow band, so it doesn't do too much overspray anywhere. I spray everything. <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna spray everything. This is gonna look so good. I'm 
Now I'm going to put a link below where you can get this paint, uh, if I can find it of course. It is really good. I'm sure it's available down in the States. I'm up here in Canada. But uh, yeah, this covers like you wouldn't believe. And it makes you feel so good. Okay, the interior is all done. You can see how good this looks now. It's not such a sunny day, so it can sure, sort of show you uh, what it looks like without all the glare. Look at those, look at those rubber mats. Shiny, but not too shiny. Clean, black. Upholstery's done. Dash is all armor rolled and clean. Glass all clean. Look at the rear seat, looks brand new. I armor rolled all the seats. Of course, that makes them all slippery, but I don't care. Look at this, nice and black. Door cards are all nice. Wow. Those floors are so clean you could eat off of them. All right, there you have it. That's how you clean the inside of your police interceptor crown Victoria. It's going to make it look fantastic. If you're going to sell the car, it's going to help sell the car. It makes a difference if everything's clean, neat and tidy and looking good. There's no reason to treat these cars like they're cheap, nothing vehicles. These are nice vehicles. They're getting more valuable all the time. So let's make it look nice. All right. Thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I will see you next time.